I don't have a skin on this account. Do I really not? Oh, I guess I may have that really ugly Nocturne skin that I just don't want to use. I mean, I have too many accounts to keep buying skins on, for to be honest. Whatever. I hate Nocturne, to be honest. It reminds me of another character in Dota. It uses the work and look similar. But I hate it. I see. Hmm. I mean, honestly, I still kind of question whether just getting W is better than Q. Probably not, but like 30% attack speed is a lot of extra attack speed. I use my uh, my path downwards, by the way, so I can kite it. Not sure what Nico is doing, but I, that way I can kite it down towards the next camp here again. Trying to kite it down. So I just have some path, some like wiggle room to run. Take W second for attack speed. Mm, took an extra hit there, probably not great. There we go. Do you have a general path that's good? Uh, generally just full clearing on most champs is a very effective thing to do. Especially the lower elo you go, if you just full clear normally you just be okay. Right, use the path towards this side. There we go. I guess I can point in Q actually. I'm just gonna go full clear anyway. Make sure to stand on your path as well for the extra damage and move speed. I should have put that up actually, that was pretty bad. Mm, I'll danger ping topside since he hasn't warded yet and Elise is probably clearing towards that. Oh, never mind. Should reach, perfect. Pull the camps together so we can double it for some extra clear speed. Leave the blue at about that HP and I'll be able to smite it soon enough. There we go. Oh, that's not great. Looks like I'll just get top scuttle. Please just got a double kill on both side. You want to fear first and then use your Q because the shield's going to disappear no matter what. And if you use your Q then you'll lose some damage that you could use on the scuttle. 20 CS. Decent chance that his Raptors might be up. Yes, they are. Use this from a distance. Okay, never mind. The Lisa's apparently just straight up walking towards her Raptors. Very interesting path. She should have based. Oh god. Oh boy, now he's kiting the minions towards me so he gets vision. I have to walk this way to be safe. Outside of vision range. Velkos is gonna be here. Just hit him. Mm, not bad. I guess he just straight up flashes into me. That works too. I have to push this wave out. Stop question mark pinging me. Alright, you get muted. That's cool. I have to push there because otherwise he doesn't get the back. Like, he now gets a free back. If he takes the back, like... Alright, don't take the back, my guy. That's fine too. Alright, and the ideal first back there. Get the... CDR boots. This is really solid. We'll build for Stripe Breaker. Okay. The Garen used Flash on me there, which is good. All my camps are respawning, as you see. I'm slightly late because of the top lane gank. Normally, I would have liked to have these as well, but Elise's path is very strange. Now he's going to lose a lot of time to the Elise gank as well. So him not backing there and whatever he was doing with that situation is really not good for him. I guess Elise kind of ints it. Whatever. A set just wasted a hell of a lot of time. Instead of taking a free back, he now doesn't get anything. Like, he has to tele force teleport back to his turret now, where he could have just saved his teleport for another situation. My ideal path right now is to uh, just hit 6 as soon as possible. Again, use your trail as a little bit of a distance so it doesn't go over the wall and give the enemy your position away. Or give your position away to the enemy. There you go, keep moving. Just gotta hit 6. Uh, mid laner's not here, so I guess I could take a wave. Take maybe a little bit for some extra XP.
Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I get a free wave. Belkos was in base anyway, so holding the wave there is completely good. I got some free XP out of it, which hits me closer to 6 as well. Alright. And finish. Oh, that wasn't a kill. Get my ult now, so I'm gonna probably just rush the bot lane soon. I need to use my ultimate as soon as possible. I could use it on mid lane as well, potentially. Just on auction, as soon as you get it, you need to use it as soon as you possibly can. Alright, there, stand in the camp and use the try like your use your Q path towards the direction you're trying to run. I have my ultimate ready. Okay, let's see. It is in range. There we go, perfect. Push the wave out, this guy knows. This guy doesn't flame ping me for pushing his wave, we're good. Risky to walk into her top side. I guess I just go for my own red buff. As she could just be here, like I don't know where Elise is. I didn't see her at any point. Maybe she's doing dragon. She might be doing dragon here. Me. She is in fact doing dragon here. I don't have smite or ult, so this is a pretty risky play. If they can execute him, uh, now we can go on. Wait, 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 wait. Smite on six. Oh, I could just couldn't get it. Literally, my smite was just on cooldown. One sec, cooldown, Sag. Yeah, no, that was well done by Elise. She apparently barely got it, but my team just, like, I mean, they didn't even try. They may have actually accidentally hit it as well, putting more DPS on the dragon. It was so close. If I would have just gotten my smite back there, that would have been really good. But we got two kills out of one dragon still, so that's pretty decent. And my ideal goal is to just instantly go back mid lane on the Kuyana with my ultimate, because now I know she's pretty much going to be another free kill. Hopefully they don't die. Damn, that sucks for Dragon there, though. If my smite was up, that would have been very nice. Do you like playing Pantheon jungle? And eh, not really. I personally think there are better options comparable to Pantheon. Like, it's just a gank jungler, right? Doesn't skill that great. Hmm, I have an ult in four seconds. I don't want to hold mid and show my position right now. I want to actually kind of be dark on the map for the enemy team. That's a little bit scarier to deal with. Because they have to respect my Nocturne ult still. Ah, I'm getting blocked hard. Okay. Clear that. Keep moving. I need to ult as soon as possible here. Need to look for a target. I have ult ready. No, mm. That doesn't kill me, right? Okay, we're good. Solid. Very solid. Um, I have option. I can go fear. Duration goes up. I shoot max E second. Oh, there is an Elise here. She fucking flashed on me. Are you serious? She's dead, right? Oh, she didn't die. No, she is, she's got to be here. Don't miss this set, please. I swear. I'll take the assist. That's completely okay. She actually flashed for me there. That man's insane. I'll t I guess I'll take. I have to take it. Ooh. Hmm. Actually, I think I'll do this instead. The reason I do that instead is because this gives me 10 ability haste, which gives me more ultimate cooldown. So, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go to top side first and then clear towards bot side. My bot lane currently isn't in a fighting position. My ult will be back up the moment I hit bot side and my top laner should be fine with a 2-0 lead onto the enemy. That's very unfortunate that I don't have ult for that. So, for that reason, I'm going to top side start now, take my blue and then clear down. Alright, kite is this way. Walk slightly behind it, press Q. That will pull that gromp in. It's the spike. There we go. Right, so clearing towards bot lane now to make sure that my bot lane can actually get some kills. Because my top laner should be fine. He has double buff into that Garen. Or I have to run up. He didn't even use his W, I don't think. Uh, who got the kill? Elise did. I could technically kill this guy. Okay, I got him. Uh, 
All right, I dodged this thingy. I'm a guy. I have to run because Kuyana is missing from mid lane. There she is. Not gonna disrespect anything there. All right, I should be good. It's kind of close with the Elise there for sure. But I got the kill on Garen. Garen also flashed, so that's very good for my for my guy. I got Stride Breaker here. This should be good. My ult's gonna be back up in 40. Uh, Dragon's gonna be up in 50. I need to kill the bot lane. Just... Ah, uh, no, that's very unfortunate. He could have not a great death timing. Actually, it's still okay. He gets to be on Dragon inside. Wait, what did my Nico just do? Right. Wait, Kaisa was in base. How is that Kaisa's fault? What the hell? Interesting. And this is what you call diamond elo, I suppose. I got eight seconds on my... She knows I'm here. Pretty sure she knows I'm here. I blocked that spell shield there. It's gotta hit the Elise. I missed, goddamn. Does she get him? I can get him in like a second. He's dead. Perfect. Very, very solidly done by my uh, Nico there. There we go. He gets all of them. What is with people and just pinging their waves? I'm actually muting that guy. Wait, did my set just die again in a 1v1? And that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Oh, I'm trolling. I'm literally trolling. I should have been on Dragon by now. I'm actually trolling. Nah, he's TPing to top lane. Not something I like to see, to be honest. Oh. She flashed. That's good. We should take Drake here. You can use your spell shield on the Dragon's auto attack to uh, increase your attack speed by proccing it. There we go. Free Drake. You're, you're just a goner, mate. I just have to run now. Hopefully my Kai'Sa has flash. She has flash. We're good. That is not good. I have my ult in like 10 seconds. My red's up, though. Oh, they're not going for my red. I like to see that. Well, I can make a bot lane play here very soon. I have my, uh, I have my ult up. Uh, she is using Herald on bot lane, though. That's not great. Nico is mid, so I guess we're just gonna have to give. It's Terex. Damn. My set's hard losing top now, apparently, as well. That's very unfortunate because he had a 2 0 lead. I'm doing okay. Like, I'm in a solid spot. I died once to, like, a random Elise Flash, which is okay, I suppose. You can just use your Stripe Breaker to help you clear your camps as well, by the way. It's only a 10 second cooldown or something. It's really not that bad. Okay, good ults. Would have ideally liked to use that after I leveled it up, but it's okay. It's still a very low cooldown because I have three ultimate Hunter stacks. Alright, I need Jinx and Bard dead for more ult CDR. Uh, let's see. So my next focus kind of has to be Jinx and Bart. Did that just go through the scuttle? Are you serious? I do not want to fight here. Just want to farm my both side camps at this point. Wait for my ult cooldown. With Nocturne, waiting for your ult cooldown is one of the most important things you can do between every play. Falcos is in base. Guy says bolt. We do not want to be fighting here. Did he just... Okay, Seth, I see you. That is some DPS. Alright, looks like I'm running bot. Kaisa wins that 1v1, I think, because Kiana missed her ult. She gets him, yep. Isolated Q damage. Not too bad. Let's check her bot side cams. My ult's gonna be up in 8 seconds. Oh god.
Uh, it looks like I'm just gonna melee ult basically, it's okay. At least flashed as well. I was hoping to get it with flash stride breaker there, like flash cue stride breaker, but the elise flash, so I'm gonna have to follow that with ult. I do get a red buff off of that though. Okay. I should have smited the red buff, I'm actually a dumbass. Did he just flash? I'm pretty sure he just flashed on me there. Damn, I, I really messed up. I should have smited the red buff instead of smiting him. Because doing reduced damage to his ult does nothing. It's true damage, right? So it's always just going to do a certain amount. If I smite the red, I get extra HP, which allows me to 1v1 him, maybe. But he caught me off guard there. Definitely, I didn't think he'd be there. It's a bit sad. I need to swap the far side as well, so I can land certain ults if I do lose vision on them. I have 40 ability ace, which is pretty good. I also have 4 stacks on my ultimate hunter. I still need to kill Jinx. So prioritizing Jinx for ultimates here. Right, my team is really not playing this one great. Okay. I really want to kill this guy, but I'm not even sure if I can, to be honest. My set's also bot lane for whatever reason. Why is he not moving? Like, actually not moving. I'm so confused by what this set's doing right now. Guess it is what it is. Oh wait, this isn't still down. Whoops. Wait, no, it's someone else took it. He got the base off, that's really good. Oh my god, the enemy team is pretty much better in every lane. I guess my ADC is doing okay though, I suppose. I did hit them. It's gonna be an interesting fight. I think this game, this fight's just gonna be game deciding. Whoever wins this one just wins. Oh, uh, that's just not good, is it? Let's go for Jinx on this one. Okay. Let's just go for Drake here. My smite's my, 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 gonna be a backup soon. Ramis, I'll answer your question after the game, okay? It's a long text, so. You think they're focusing the useless player? <laughs> they, he pinged Kaisa to be useless? That's a yikes, man. Yeah, whatever, I'll take it. Alright. It's gonna be up in 14, this is bad. I can actually fear this guy. Are you serious right now? No, you're kidding. You didn't just do that to me. <sighs> okay, I thought I was gonna die there because I didn't get an out anymore because someone killed that Garen. Oh my god. Kaisa, you just played, misplayed that so hard. Uh, it is what it is. I should have not have stayed on the uh, Elise there either. So that's my bad too. Hmm... Right. Uh, what is a good choice here? I guess just GA is pretty good. Do this. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure my mid laner is just straight up useless. Like in team fights. Maybe he gets like a decent ult off and it could be good, but yeah. Kaisa, I don't know. I, I don't know who killed the Garen here, to be honest. Was it a Kaisa W? Because if it was, that was kind of sucky for me. I nearly died because of that. I was planning to just ult the Garen and get out of that fight, and it actually turned out okay. I guess I shouldn't have stayed on the Elise uh, Zonias. If she didn't have Zonias, though, she would have died because my spell shoot would have blocked one of her abilities, and there was nothing she would have been able to do. I mean, Velkos, my guy, please. Like, please. It's actually getting insane, my guy. Come on. 
at least we have a AP support, I guess, which makes it a little bit less detrimental that the guy that is our AP carry is kind of useless. Oh, boy. Oh, you could have ulted there. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Oh, get him, please. Oh, I missed my... You're hit. You're kidding. Holy shit, I played that so well. I actually played that like a fucking monster right there. Jesus Christ, that was so good. We need to Baron here. We absolutely have to Baron here. I don't know, does my spell shield work for his auto attacks as well? We need Valkos to just like ult. Please kill her, please kill her, please kill her, please kill her. Thank you. Holy shit. Game's close. I got my guardian angel now. There we go. I actually think I'm getting... I'm gonna go with sand here, I think. Legitim... Act. Do I go with sand here? I could go... Hmm. I don't think a... Like, I'm very tanky already with this setup. I can go, like, some damage items here, but I'm not too sure which ones that are really good right now. Cleaver would be okay. Bla uh, Blade of the Rune King might be a decent shout as well. I think Blade of the Rune King here would be a pretty good item to get. Get the active as well off of it. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I didn't have vision. If I would have had vision over her there, I would have gone for it. Play for Drake in 40 seconds, I suppose. Nico and Seth are both top lane, which I do not like to see. Yes, that's gonna die now. Wait, does he win the 1v1 against the least? If he does, that's good. If he doesn't, then that's really bad. Okay. He actually lost the one if you want. That's yeah, that sucks. No, this is but this is not good at all. Piana's now also pushing bolt wave in, bolt wave in. I guess I back maybe. Nope. Damn. That set cannot afford to die solo like that. I still have GA, so let's fight. I just use my Q here for extra move speed out. Uh, Drex, uh, fucking, this is gonna spawn soon. Or this is actually already spawned, is what I'm trying to say. I want to have red buff for healing. If I can get red buff here for some healing, I can use the red buff active to, uh, or passive, sorry, effect to just heal myself. They killed Kuyana, that's really good. I have my ult in 29. Alright, this is solid. These Nico ults are coming in clutch. Really are. Okay, good. That's the Drake. Just one more Drake. I guess I'll back here. Oh no. You're joking. We have a Kaisa on bot lane right now. I guess I'll unmute them now to see chat. Um, I think Blade is good. Mm, that's probably not worth selling right now. I'll just do this. We just have the group as five. Use the Nico ult to our advantage here. Where's Bard? Thought he was there in that bush. I could have ulted towards that. If I see him slightly out of position, I'm just gonna go for it. There he is. Viable kill though. Oh. Mm, it's a little risky because I don't see anyone on everyone on the map currently. I hit him, so I can chase him now. Damn it, I should have... I messed up. I messed up heavily. 
Uh, spell shield, we're good. Okay. You need to kill this guy. You absolutely have to kill that guy. Please, Kaisa, please. Kaisa? No? You just let him walk away? That's unfortunate. That works. It still works, though. Okay, push this. Push in here. That's decent. This guy should die here. Mm, maybe not. I guess we base. Reset. Do this type of stuff again. I was slightly out of position on that one, but luckily I'm very tanky and hard to kill. I still had GA as well, so I had some le some like leeway there too. Should be able to get my back off here. Please don't overstay. Just please don't overstay. It's really all I can hope for right now. If he overstays here, this would be really bad. Hmm. I'm almost 16. I guess I'll farm that out. Waiting for my team to regroup. Dragon's gonna be like two minutes. Baron's gonna be 30 seconds. If we win a fight with Baron, that would be good. Just wanna get 16 here first and then look for some plays. My ult does a good amount of damage. Okay, Valkos. Am I in... I spell shield that. Alright, just hit it. Yes, there we go. As soon as you hit the trial, she can't do anything. She has to flash. And just hit it one more time because she is still on the path. And we're good. Ah, that Bard Slow just got me though. The Bard Slow definitely got me. My level 16 ult range is massive. Jinx barely got out of that one. Let's Baron. I don't think we can push, but we can definitely Baron here. My ult's gonna be back up in time to also dive the Elise if I does become a thing. They need to clear both of those things. I'm happy to tank this. I don't do that much Baron damage at the moment. I'll use my blue trinket here to see if the Elise walks from that side. Because that's the only part of vision that we didn't really have any coverage on. Reset. And Drake. Please come to Drake. He's actually going topside now. I'm going to sell both of those to just get my Blade of the Rune King fast. And he's backing now, that's good. No, but you give me vision, please give me vision. I actually don't have any vision because they're just scared. I guess I'll just go mid here. There we go, just dive in. He flashed that, that's pretty good from him. So my team should be able to clean up here. Can I catch up to this guy? Block that with a spell shield, so I don't get stunned. He walked slightly out of position, and with my Blade of the Rune King damage and everything, I could just go for it. A set is doing dragon right now, so that's good. Guess we could just go bot lane. I'm gonna go walk for this, so I can have a little bit of life steal. Alright, that's that it's not even up. That's pretty bad. Nico is out of position there. She still got the Elise though, which is pretty solid. Get some healing from Gromp. I have ult ready, so I could look for something. Thank you, my guy. Thank you for walking up slightly too far there, buddy. I appreciate it. Whoa. That was weird. Just hit the turret. Just need you to hit the turret. I get my passive on the minions there for some healing. Just gonna go for the turret here now. Just finish off the inhib here. Our base is just dead now. Time to flood it.
good. I didn't spell shield that, was my bad. I guess I'll just end the game. GG's. Alright, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. Helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!